Okay, so a lot of people recommend a 50cc saw. Steel will try to sell you on this, and I'm here to tell you that it ain't what you want. Not for bolt turning, not for making blanks. It's underpowered and it bogs down. So this is 271 Farm Boss. This is Steel's like number one recommended homeowner saw. So let's see how she does. It's freshly sharpened. I just got done sharpening it. <laughs> properly suited saw for the task. jumping up and down in there and it's creating a kickback situation. But even with that, this is 
still the proper saw for the job. Well, while I'm out here real quick, I got this piece of quarter sawn and it's already starting to split at the pith, so I gotta get that pith out there. So this is fresh sycamore and I'm pulling out these noodles like this man I mean look at them and so these noodles uh, skip tooth is probably not the best choice for rip cuts because what it does so you can understand here it's being lazy it's easier to file I've got one tooth or cutter every other drive link instead of every drive link like on this saw see so you can tell there's a, a tooth or a cutter every drive link this one's every other so it's letting these really long noodles come out whereas this saw was making these noodles so, you learn something when you teach. <laughs> so, I mean, in, in actuality, when I do these long rip cuts like this, I should probably just have a full, full comp chain, which sucks for filing, sucks for sharpening, sharpening, especially anytime you hit a nail.